In no particular order, here are our top 5 mountain bike trends for 2021. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a new video. With the Olympic Games and updates of classic bikes such as the Specialized Epic and the Cannondale Scalpel, 2020 was set to be a big year for XC. Then, well, we all know what happened next. Looking forward, the trend for 2021 seems to be a continuing theme for XC race bikes. They're getting radder and more capable every year. Take the Specialized Epic. The most recent update has a reach of 470mm in a size large. Not long ago, that would have been seen on a trail bike, but now you'll find it on a pure World Cup race machine like the Epic. The Cannondale Scalpel has a relatively slack head angle of 68 degrees, making it far more capable than XC bikes of old. And if you want your XC bike to be even more trail friendly, Specialized and Cannondale have the Epic Evo and Scalpel SE versions of their flagship race bikes. Both feature a 120mm fork and geometry that makes them just as fun on the downs as they are on the ups. Those with their finger on the pulse of the cross country world might be aware that radar race bikes are not only a trend for 2021, but you'll have to watch this video a little longer to find out what we're talking about. Just like our road cycling companions, it's safe to say e-mountain bike sales are going to increase in 2021. However, the trend in question is not the increase in sales, but the perception of the bikes being sold. Just like most new technologies in mountain biking, e-bikes weren't always embraced with open arms when they first hit the mainstream. Phrases like, e-bikes are not for proper mountain bikers, and e-bikes are only for old timers or people who want to cheat, were often seen in the bike radar comments section. Fortunately, this perception has started to change and e-mountain bikes are starting to carry the same kudos as regular mountain bikes. This is partly down to something we call the Santa Cruz factor, whereby anything Santa Cruz does immediately becomes cool in the eyes of all mountain bikers. And as Santa Cruz have recently released e-mountain bikes of their own, it means e-mountain bikes now are officially cool. This is obviously a joke, but the sentiment has some truth to it. New technologies can sometimes be slow to catch on, but once a critical mass of companies with high cultural capital jump on a trend, we start to see the perception shift. So with brands like Specialized, Santa Cruz, Cannondale and Scott all pushing e-mountain bikes hard, we think 2021 will finally be the year they gain a more widespread acceptance in the mountain biking community. From expensive e-mountain bikes, we now head to a more affordable trend with the ever-increasing quality of beginner and budget bikes. It's no secret that at the top end, bikes are incredibly expensive, with many sailing comfortably past the 10k mark. And while these are lovely to look at, very few of us can actually afford them. So it's fantastic to see affordable bikes becoming more capable every year. The Voodoo Bizango Carbon is a great example. For £1,000 you get a carbon frame and sorted geometry, which, matched with capable components, meant it received an almost perfect score in a recent bike radar review. If you want full suspension, the amazing Caliber Boss Nut comes in at £1,100 and also received a near perfect bike radar review. However, we have to mention that along with the amazing performance of these bikes comes soaring popularity, meaning they are often sold out or difficult to find in stock. So we recommend moving fast if you are thinking of buying a budget mountain bike in 2021. If you are wondering what our other XC based trend of 2021 is, it's this. Down country is now a thing, and with the travel on offer, good geometry and solid specs, these bikes are incredibly capable. Yes, if you are hoping 2021 would be the year we don't see another new genre of mountain bikes, then you'll be disappointed, as it's time for down country to shine. If you're wondering what down country is, it's a kind of woolly, hard to define category of bikes. They cover ground incredibly quickly, but sacrifice very little when it comes to heading downhill fast. Perhaps you could class them as XC bikes on steroids, or even fast short travel trail bikes, or, as we've already mentioned, down country bikes. As you can see, it's hard to define what they really are. One thing we can say for sure is these bikes are quickly winning favour amongst bike testers and consumers the world over. 
Prime examples of downcountry done well are Yeti's SB115 and Mondraker's F Podium DCR. Both these bikes are based around their XC platforms but have longer travel forks, bigger tyres and burlier brakes, which makes them ideal for those all-round fast rides where you plan on hitting some gnar as well. While we'd like to take credit for inventing the downcountry phrase, we must thank our friends over at Pinkbike for coming up with it first, so hats off to them. Another area where travel seems to be on the up is enduro. Enduro bikes must cover a wide variety of terrain over long days, and in the right hands they're some of the fastest mountain bikes on the planet. So to handle the kinds of speeds we see at the top end of enduro racing, we've naturally seen new bikes coming with more travel. Take the Evil Reckoning. With its big wheels and relatively long travel, it arguably changed the enduro game for the better when first released in 2016. The latest 2021 model has upped its travel to 170mm at the front and 166mm at the back. Elsewhere you might have something like the Specialized Enduro, which features a whopping 170mm of travel front and rear, meaning it can swallow just about anything in its path. As they ride so well, we can't imagine longer travel enduro bikes are going to go away anytime soon, so expect to see this trend continue in 2021. As always, we'd love to know what you think about our choices in the comments, and if you've any trend predictions of your own, we'd love to hear about those too. Finally, don't forget to like and subscribe.